Good evening everyone and um, once again welcome to this um, now our seventh evening of Shankill Remembers Row on Row. Uh, this is an opportunity for us as a community to come together uh, to remember those who made the supreme sacrifice. Uh, the event will uh, run from now until, well run from 1st of November until the 11th of November. Um, with three more nights to go. Um, I'd like to just run everyone through, if you haven't been here before, the programme. Very simply, there'll be an opening prayer and tonight that is being given by Reverend Brian McMillan, who's the minister at Ballyga Martin Presbyterian Church. There'll be a roll call of ten of those who made the supreme sacrifice. And that will be carried out by members of the Heel and Ankle Theatre Company. There will then be the act of remembrance, the last post, silence, and key him out of um, We could take the opportunity to thank everyone for coming along tonight um, and produce Reverend Brian who will lead us in prayer. Let's pray. Eternal God, we come before you, the Lord of all the ages. From everlasting to everlasting you are God. To you a thousand years are as a day and a day is as a thousand years. You are the great God of all eternity. And we come to you to give you our praise. We come in the name of Jesus Christ your Son. The one who is the beginning and the end. The first and the last. The one who is the same yesterday today and forever. Lord, this evening we remember so many who have died, who have given their lives for freedom and justice and peace. And we thank you for the freedom that they have won for us so that we can worship Jesus. Lord, as we thank you for those who have died in wars and conflicts, we are conscious that our lives also must end. We are frail children of dust. Our lives are fragile and relatively short, and we bow before you, the God of all eternity. Lord, teach us to number our days. Our God, we confess that there are times when we have lost sight of our own mortality, when we live as though our lives here were endless when we forget that all must be seen in the light of eternity. Lord, let us have in the forefront of our minds Christ's concern for love and justice and peace. Remove from us the petty, selfish concerns that distract us from the real and the true. Remove from us any bitterness or malice in our hearts so that we can live in harmony and peace that you give. Father, we praise you that Jesus, your Son, has tasted death for us. We pray, praise you for his one perfect sacrifice that makes atonement for all our sins. As we trust in that sacrifice and as we turn away from our sins, let us have assurance of your pardon and your love. Lord, grant us the aid of your Spirit Enable us to live lives of sacrificial love to the glory of Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Smith Brothers, Ronald Smith, 11445, Private, 5th Battalion, Royal Inniskillian Fusler. He died of wounds on the 25th of August, 19... 15, aged 50 years, he lived at 69 Power Street, Schenker Road, Belfast. James Burroughs Smith, 1105, Rifleman, 15 Battalion, Royal Ar Irish Rifles. He was killed in action on the 21st of March 1918, aged 41 years. He lived at 7 Malvern Street. Shankill Road, Belfast. Joseph Sheridan, 23132, Private, 7th Battalion, 
Royal Enniskillen Fusiliers. <clears throat> he was killed in action on the 28th of May 1916. He lived at 193 Kenmore Street, James Curry, 54553, Private, 109th Field Ambulance, Royal Army Medical Corps. He died of wounds on the 22nd of August 1917, aged 31 years. He lived at 74 Northumberland Street, Shanko Road, Belfast. George Smith, 13613, Rifleman, 9th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles. He died of wounds on the 24th of November 1917. He lived at 36 Argyll Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. William Finlay, 16488, Sergeant, 16th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles. He was killed in action on the 21st of March, 1918, aged 24 years. He lived at 18 Snugville Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. Samuel Orr, 35891, Private. 1st Battalion, King's Own Royal Lancaster Regiment. He was killed in action 28th of March 1918, aged 19 years. He lived at 12 Burstford Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. John Macaulay, 355, Rifleman, 1st Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles. He was killed in action on 1st of July 1916. He lived at 34 Tobergill Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. Bowie Anderson, 7257, Private, 2nd Battalion, Royal Inniskillen Fusiliers. He died of wounds on the 17th of November, 1914, aged 33 years. He lived at Free Power Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. William Little, 13044, Rifleman, 9th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles. He was killed in action 1st July 1916, aged 18 years. He lived at 16th Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. They shall not grow old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not worry them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we give today. Thank you everyone for coming along tonight. Um, just to, again to say thank you to Reverend Brian McMillan uh, for taking part uh, in tonight's proceedings and also the young people from the Hayden Ankle Theatre Company. Thank you. Um, same again tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, uh, pupils from the Boys and Girls Model will be uh, participating. Uh, Tuesday night, will be a youth, youth pub from Lord Shankill Community Association and we will finish on Wednesday night which is the evening of Armistice Day and Old Park Cave Hill Royal British Legion will be leading it. 
Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.